world six, I world six, let's get six. Let's get straight into it and make the draft. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is the day before match day. It's Friday the 16th of February 2024 and today we've got game number 70 of the 23-24 season on the channel. We're into Blundell Park for Grimsby Town versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2. So it's today's video, as usual, I've got my thoughts pre-halftime and post-match as well as match day vlog itself. And at the end, we've been a new ground on the channel this season. We're going to rate the ground, but also... Um, we're actually in a Premier Inn at the minute, um, like I said it is the day before match day, we are stopping over Friday and Saturday night for the weekend, um, so I'll have the travel montage in after this clip, and then we've got a bit of what we'll get up to on the Friday night and the Saturday before the match, we've got a pub crawl planned, so that should be fun, so anyway without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so now at the hotel, I'm going to do my pre-match thoughts before I show you what we'll get on to uh, on the match day and Friday night. So um, let's start with home team men at Grimsby Town. So we're currently in 21st out of 24th in League 2, just two places above the dotted line of relegation. So, so far this season, we've had 11 wins, 4 draws and 15 defeats. And the last result was a 3-1 home loss to Stockport County. Um, so we're currently winless in 5 and uh, find themselves six points um, above the relegation zone. So, we're not in best of form at the minute. I know a lot of their fans are worried that they could potentially really get dragged into this, a bit like we were thinking, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but, you know, we can quickly change in football. It's one of them things, like, they only need a few good results, and um, they can turn it around. But it's just not been a good season for them from the start, to be fair. They've always been there or thereabouts around that relegation line. Um they did pick up a bit, but then we have fell back down there. And um, we've had quite a few games. We've conceded a lot of goals. I mean, we had that 5 all draw with Notts County. We had a 6-1 uh, defeat to Warsaw. Um, they're back-to-back -back games as well. So, yeah, but, um, we've not been as bad lately, I wouldn't have said. Uh, I mean, we kept a clean sheet against Accrington. And then, obviously, we conceded the three goals against Stockport. But we conceded five against Stockport. <laughs> Everyone's conceding against Stockport. So... It's just one of them, so we'll have to see how they do on the day. And now let's move on to my team and the away team for today. Doncaster over, so we are currently in 20th out of 24th in League 2 with 9 wins, 6 draws and 16 defeats. And our last game was a 2-all away draw against Salford City. Uh, I was at that game, um, so I'm not really seeing anything from it, but apparently we had a decent performance to be fair. Um, obviously Matt Smith pretty much bullied us. Last time he played us at home, um, got a hat trick, and Tom Anderson and Richard Wood kept him pretty quiet by the sounds of it. To be fair, and um, yeah, it sounds like it were a decent performance. And I'll be honest, I had a took a point before the start of play, so um, and I don't think that you'd have many fans who wouldn't. So um, yeah, it's it's a good point to be fair. It's, it's a point extra that I thought we wouldn't be getting um, because I just thought just with Salford style of play, I, I mean, it weren't that didn't back us. It were more. Just their style of play, I think our team is like <laughs> perfect for them to play against because we're a big physical, direct team um, and we've struggled from corners and crosses all season. So, um, yeah, I just thought it was going to be a tough night for us, but we did well, to be fair. And um, we're now unbeaten in three league matches, which um, I honestly can't remember the last time <laughs> we did that. So, um, that feels pretty good, to be fair. So, five points in the last three games and um, we're building. Um, I said... From the Sutton game, like these next few games, we've got all the teams around us. These are going to be absolutely crucial, um, you know, for how this season is going to go. We really need to pick up points against these teams. And um, 
We've done all right so far, winning two draws, um, and most importantly, no defeats. Um, and we've got another one of them teams uh, coming up today. So in the previous results between these two teams, um, last season when we played, we won by three goals to one at Grimsby, which, to be fair, was my favourite away day of the season, so I'm looking forward to this one a lot. And then when we played them at home, uh, we lost to a very late uh, goal to lose a match by two goals to one. And then earlier this season... We won the match 1-0 thanks to a Joe Ironside penalty. So, mixture of results to be honest with you. So, we've got 20th versus 21st. And both teams are going to be looking to get a few extra points to climb away from the relegation zone. Give themselves a bit more breathing space. So, I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction. So, a rover is going to do the double over Grinsby. Or a Grinsby are going to get that win and close the gap between us and Grinsby to one point. My prediction is... I think, I'm feeling confident. I think we're going to get the same result as we did last time we played them away. I just, I feel like they're out of form. We're looking better. And um, like I say, we've done all right against Grimsby in the past. And I think we're going to do all right again. I'm going to go for a Rovers win. I'm going to go exactly the same as it were last season. I'm going to go what Grimsby Town 1, Doncaster Rovers 3. Anyway, that is it for my pre-match thoughts then. So, without further ado, let's have a look what we got up to on the Friday night and the Saturday before the game. Alright, the pub crawl starts here then, so we're starting 10 o'clock, first one that's open on the way, so we're at the Willow, so let's go and get that first pint. Uh, pub number one at the event, I've gone San Miguel, Liz has gone Peroni, so we're at the Willow pub for pub number one. Now it's got pub number two here, which is Willie's, and the cool thing is we've actually brewed our own beer, which is right there. So let's go and check it out. Right. Right, Hi. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> and we're in.
Second, just crazy, like, I didn't even have time to get a camera up to subscribe first, so I was just about to, and then we scored the second, so, um, yeah, screams one more new, love the goal from my side, till no Rovers, hopefully, we'll <laughs> at least stay like this at the end of the match. Couldn't see really what penalty we were giving for from here to fair. We've got kind of a post now so we can't fully see what's going on, but um, so we can't really comment on whether it's a penalty or not. But nevertheless, they've got a goal back, it's now a one goal deficit. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can capitalise on it and um, make it 3 1 like I predicted, but that's how it goes. Still 2 1 to the Rovers from now. So at half time it was uh, Grimsby Town 1 at Doncaster Rovers 2 and um, it was a pretty bonkers start to be fair, um, literally just settled down into the ground and um, Molyneux you blasted into the net and then next thing we know Ironside scored as well so um, didn't really get a chance to catch my thoughts on the first goal before the second one went in. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> pretty crazy start. And then Grimsby got a penalty, which when I've seen it back, I didn't really. I thought it was a bit harsh. With that. I didn't fully think it was a penalty, but nevertheless, they have slotted it home for two one. Which um, yeah, it's um, even up the game bit there. It's made it a bit of a nervy end to the half. So we're gonna have to see how uh, the second half goes with that. So let's get back to Blundell Park for the second half. Yeah. Oh, so I'm looking at the merchandise here, but he's clubbing his own merchandise here. It's pretty cool to be fair. Uh, so 3-1, 2 for Rovers, um, 2 
great club with the men, they'll let them see it in, so if anyone looks like scoring more, it's going to be us. So, um, yeah, it's great club with the men, hopefully we can carry on like this. Um, three one to Rovers, so far. So full time it's finished Grimsby Town 1 at Doncaster Rovers 5 wow um, 
I'll be honest, that game's been a bit of a whirlwind. Like it's it's been very hard to um just remember the game not us because it's just been such a whirlwind of a game. I mean, I'll be honest, I can't remember the last time I um I don't think I ever actually have seen a five one or any similar scoreline away from home, so it's not really sunk in yet, to be honest with you. Um like I just felt a bit I didn't feel fully weird after the game, I'll be honest. Um so yeah, at the minute I'm just trying to like take it all in and I think that's I think Rovers fans deserve that to be fair. I think they deserve to take it in a bit because let's be honest, we've had a shite season so far. Um and this has been like it's probably has been the best part of it to be fair. So I think we just deserve to like, you know, enjoy it and just take it in because it's not often we get results like this. So I'm gonna make sure I enjoy it. Like, I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Um and yeah, um but yeah, really, really good second half performance to be fair from what I remember because honestly it's just been a blur. Um yeah, and um honestly like I'm just blown away at me. Like it's been such such a good feeling like to get to get not just a win but such a big win like that. Um because we've not really had that in a very long time. And um yeah, I feel like I'm rambling a bit here, but it just feels so good. And um yeah, I think that puts us I think thirteen points um from safety now. Um like above the relegation zone and um, 12 points from playoffs. Um, so, I mean, I don't think so, but you never know, do you? Um, but now, I mean, we're close to the playoffs and we are to the relegation zone, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, let's just keep this going. I mean, we're four unbeaten now. Um, let's just finish the season as strong as we can. And, um, you know, hopefully next season we can just take these, uh, like I said, after the last game, we can take these positives into next season. And, um, really keep the momentum going because last season we finished awfully and that ran into next season so hopefully we can have a bit of a better you know end to the season this year and take that into next season and really start to push on okay so it's time for rate the ground now then so if you're new to um my youtube channel so what we do each time we go to a new ground this season we give them a rating out of five on uh five categories so we've got pre-match the catering the ground the atmosphere and the overall enjoyment and then we've got a total score of 25 which goes into a league table with the other grounds this season. So uh, this time we've got Grimsby Town. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and rate the ground. It's funny. So let's start with pre-match then. And pre-match is pretty good, especially for Cleeforts. Grimsby not so much, but Cleeforts, which is like the next town down about a mile from the station, is pretty good to be fair. Uh, we did a pull crawl there and like I said, there's plenty of bars. Um, I don't know how many of them are actually away for only, but we, we managed to get into most of them. Um, the only downside really is it's a fair bit away from the uh, stadium itself, so it's a fair trek uh, to get to that. But other than that, it's pretty spot on to be fair. So in terms of pre-match, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Next up, we've got the catering, and it's not bad to be fair. I mean, I didn't get any food this time. I had food last time, and it weren't too bad. Uh, in terms of drink, we've got the own bar, which is pretty impressive, with uh, memorabilia from loads of different clubs as well they've brought in uh, to give to them. Uh, so it was pretty decent fair there weren't many queues to say we just got down for half time and uh, the staff were friendly enough as well so um, yeah in terms of catering like I said food looked decent and everything else were pretty good so I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five next up we've got the ground and for League 2 it's pretty good to be fair um, I mean it could do a lick of paint here and there it's quite an old ground but it is a classic like you say um, I do like coming to Blundell Park um, yeah, pretty decent overall, I would say. Not got too many bad things to say about it. So, in terms of ground, I'm going to go for a three and a half out of five. Next up, we've got atmosphere. And it was quite hard to judge the Grimsby atmosphere, to be fair, because we were 2 0 up we in eight minutes. So, um, it kind of, you know, silenced the Grimsby fans a bit. And, you know, I've been in that position before, Rovers. You know, it's hard to get anything going when you go behind that quickly. Um, but yeah, it weren't too bad. I mean, in a way, you can generate quite a bit of atmosphere. And, um, you know, same route over areas of Blundell Park, to be fair. So, not too bad, I'd say. I'm going to go 3 out of 5 for the atmosphere. And finally, we've got overall enjoyment. Probably, it, Grinsby probably is my favourite away day in League 2, to be fair. I really enjoy Grinsby. It was my favourite away day of last year, and it probably is my favourite away day so far this season. So, nothing really bad to say about it, to be fair. You've got loads of pubs, you know, got a fair walk to the stadium, but it is what it is. It's part of the experience, I suppose. Um... And yeah, a trip to the seaside and a bit of Papa's fish and chips afterwards. You can't complain at that. So um, yeah, overall for me, it is going to get a 5 out of 5 for overall enjoyment. So that gives Grimsby Town a total score of 19.5 out of 25, which puts them fourth in the table for this season. And 
Rightly so, to be fair. I mean, Grimsby, I said it last season, it's my favourite away day in League Two, and I'm going to stick to that this season. Now I've done it again. Um, definitely a favourite and definitely one I look forward to every season. So, um, yeah, another really good time at Grimsby, all the way from the pub crawl, all the way up to Pappas at the end, and walking back to the hotel. Um, as you can tell, got a bit wet, but <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? Um, but yeah, another really enjoyable day at Grimsby Town and at Fallen Rovers. And we actually got a win, which um, made it a bonus as well. But anyway, I'm going to leave the video here for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, so the next video on the channel that you'll see will be on Tuesday night. We've got Rosenton Main versus Goal. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.